my name is Brian. Uh, it's my channel, Aged New Make, where I discuss all aspects of craft distillation. Um, in particular, with my attempts to turn barley into whiskey. If you think that would be of interest to you, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get notified of when new videos are up, then hit that bell icon at the top there. I'm really interested in creating fine spirits uh, from distillation. I'm not particularly interested in generating large quantities of neutral spirit for, for flavouring. Um, that's not where my interest in distillation occurs. Uh, it's time for another batch of whiskey to add to my solar system. Uh, we're still running doing a spirit run at the moment, but uh, rather than uh, boring you with uh, another sequence of pictures of, of of jars of uh, spirit coming off. Uh, I thought I'd talk to you today about the uh, cooling system that I use. Uh, for those of you that are interested, I'll put all the measurements that I've taken off this run uh, up on a slide at the end of the video. Um, so you can just uh, jump to the end and have a look at that. Uh, I don't have an ideal uh, working environment because I'm living in a rented accommodation so I'm just working in, in the garage um, so uh, I clear a space in the floor and give myself a good clean working area to, to work from um, and over there in the corner you can see I have a fire extinguisher ready so I have a, a 30 litre fermenter bucket um, that uh, I fill up with water and then I have a whole collection of containers that uh, I bought uh, water from from the supermarket and I use those as my uh, stock of water for cooling. Um, in total I've got uh, over a hundred litres and uh, a garden pump in the fermenter bucket to pump the water through the condenser and into one of the, an empty container. Um, I then spot that container into the end of the stack um, and take one from the other end of the stack so um, pour it into the fermenter bucket uh, and thereby keeping a, a constant amount of water in, in, in the system. So I'll cycle through these containers uh, several times during the, the, the stripping run. Um, but each time I've collected a container of water from the condenser of the still, uh, that then sits uh, at the end of the queue and uh, will only get reused again once I've used all the other water first. Um, and that way it gets a chance to cool down um, and minimises the increase in temperature uh, for the cooling water across the entire run. Uh, you need to be careful when you're pouring water about near the electric still. Um, plenty of, of, of dangers with water and electricity mixing. Um, so uh, I'm very careful to minimise any splashes uh, when I'm pouring the water backwards or forwards. Um, it's certainly one of the risks of uh, running the cooling the way that I do. Um, preferably I'd want uh, a stronger pump to be able to pump from say a 200 litre um, water butt um, and that way I could uh, just uh, have it running continuously back to, to the container and not be uh, having that risk of pouring water from container to container uh, whilst I'm running the still. One of the advantages of winter is because of the cold ambient temperature, um, the still gets a little bit more reflux uh, in itself. Um, the the takeoff is slightly slower than it is uh, when it's in summer, um, and uh, that uh, gives me a slightly better uh, product out of, out of the still. Uh, it's important to, to keep yourself hydrated when you're working. Um, you know, I'll be here for several hours while the still is running. So I make sure I have plenty of uh, liquid to drink, uh, both uh, something warm to keep me, uh, keep the chill away, um, and also uh, plenty of water just to, to keep yourself hydrated and alert. During the run, I use my phone to take snapshots. Um, it allows me to uh, track what's happening during the run, so I, I still uh, monitor what's happening. I take a picture of the jar as it collects the spirit and I take a picture of the thermometer reading. This is just for my own convenience so I can uh, track what's happening from run to run to make sure I'm uh, getting some consistency in, what, in my process. 
using your phone is uh, quite a good way because uh, the timestamp uh, also allows you to see uh, you know how long it took to get to that particular point during the run um, enables you to, to, to better monitor what, what you're doing um, and see where you might be able to, to notice any trend or pattern that, that occurs um, particularly if you're using the same wash each time um, and in that way you, you should get uh, a similar a similar takeoff from the still whilst you're, whilst you're processing the, the wash. Well that's about it for today folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, if you did then please uh, consider liking and subscribing and that will be great, see you next time, bye.